Hey guys, it's Erin, happily we go, and it's PB and Journal Tuesday again. Now this is the middle of the journal, so I thought it'd be fun to do a quick flip through of all the pages that we have created in the journal thus far. Um, remember we did the charcoal girl, and we have the sparkle page that flipped out to the graffiti page, and the fun little book head with the teeny little book. And then that brings us to the gates that we made last week. And now we're going to open it up. And what do we have inside? There's a whole lot of pages in here. So if you'd like to see what we're going to do, then... So this week I wasn't really sure where I wanted to go. I kind of had an idea, but I thought let's just grab some stencils and we're going to use some of this fabulous clearance Liquitex. I don't know if you follow me over on Instagram. If you don't, I am at Happily We Go, but I just did a stories on all of the crazy paints I got from Liquitex. They were on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Um, funny how I was really afraid of using acrylics and painting with acrylics in the beginning and now I absolutely love them so I could not give up such a crazy deal anyways we're gonna jump into this I'm gonna grab stencils some paints and we're just gonna get crazy with it this is super sped up um, I'm just gonna have a little music and I'm gonna pop in and catch up with you as soon as the stenciling's done I'm gonna break out some washi and I have this super cool washi I don't even remember where I got it from but it's got these fun kind of black and white circular patterns on them sort of remind me of mandalas but anyways I'm just gonna throw down some washi while I continue to think about where I want to take this spread this week so one thing one suggestion rather is when you feel like you're starting to get stuck don't stop just keep moving grab for something that's close by glue it on down here's some Tim Holtz paper and I'm just gonna grab some glue stick and glue that on down as well. We're gonna keep on layering while my brain is thinking. I have some matte medium here and I was just gonna glue down where some of the bits were hanging up that I, um, you know, some of those Tim Holtz pieces. And then I thought, no, 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 I have an idea and we're going to roll with it. I'm going to put matte medium over the whole thing. That's what I'm doing. I know it's crazy. And then wait for it. Deli paper. Now make sure you put the shiny side down because we're going to work on this. We're going to add more layers to the top and it wasn't long enough. So I just got a second piece here and we're going to glue this down. It's going to give us fun texture. Remember we did this uh, back with the charcoal girl face, I believe. But um, I, this looked so, it gave it like this kind of muted look and it was really super cool. So here I'm just gluing down that second piece there and I'm making sure that the creases are very creased well so it won't dry and be stiff. And then once it's dry, look at that. I almost kind of love this just as it is, but it's Erin, so we're gonna keep going and I'm going to, if you were wondering, going to link all of the colors, stencils, everything that I use, as always, down in the description box below so you can find it down there. Now I wanted to keep this kind of transparent. This was my first idea. Um, so I'm taking the, the liquid acrylic inks 
and we're just going to start building up. We're going to get galactic here, or aurora borealis, something to do with the sky. That's where my head was going. So I'm going to grab some of these inks and I'm just going to keep layering. All I'm using is some water, um, a paper towel to dry, and I'm just going to get them super wet. The deli paper is going to help with this because um, if we didn't have that deli paper, all of this liquid would just soak into our paper bag journal and probably disintegrate it. Gross. But this, um, the deli paper is giving it this great texture and this really cool look and I'm loving like I, there's quite a few stages where I was like, oh, I just want to leave it like this. Oh, I just want to leave it like this. But you know me, we're going to keep on pushing because the whole reason for this journal for me was to explore and just have fun. And if pages don't work, whatever, that's fine. And we'll just remember that for next time. But so far, I think we've done pretty good. So let's see where we can take these inks. You guys are thrift store shoppers but I found this set of artist soft pastels at my local thrift store for like $2.99 which is ridiculous I mean they're a lower end but they're you know pretty pretty good comparatively speaking and I think it's something you can actually get on Amazon so I'll put that down below too in case you're interested um, so break out your pastels they can be high end low end it could be sidewalk chalk whatever you want to use and we're just gonna continue building up our colors Normally, after a layer of pastels, I'll spray it with a fixative, but I thought not everybody has a fixative, so what could we use? Let's try some clear gesso. That was the fingers crossed, because I don't know about this. I have a dry brush, and I'm not going to go back and forth, back and forth like crazy, because I know that it's going to sp spread that black into where my colors are. So I'm just going to concentrate on the outsides first, and then do the color on the inside, and I am wiping my brush off onto a... Uh, clean paper towel so that way it kind of gets off um, a little bit more of the pastel and doesn't smush it all over to my page but you know hey this is an experiment we're just gonna see how it turns out so once we've got that on there give it a good blow dry and there we go so it kind of gives it a matte look which is nice um, uh, but it kind of muted the colors which sort of sucks and I want to bring those vibrant colors back and I thought well instead of doing another chalk layer let's bring back those liquid inks and we'll just kind of uh, paint on a little bit more of our color I'm a 
a finger painter by nature, so I'm just gonna push fingers on there. And then look, I was pushing so hard, I actually took off the deli paper. Whoops! Um, see, mistakes happen. It happens all the time to me. But you just kinda keep pushing through, don't worry about it. And you know, hey, note to self, don't push so hard when you go to blend. Oh geez. So once you've got it good and dry, grab a Posca pen and then we're gonna do some journaling. One thing I found that I've been lacking in this journal is my own handwriting. So I thought I'm gonna scribble down some thoughts and what better page spread to write it on than the middle of the book. So here's a, just a little bit of stuff I'm writing about our journey that we've taken thus far in the paperback journal. Um, it's super messy, scribbly. You could skip this step if you want, um, but I encourage you to just kind of journal it out because it's very cathartic. Um, I love doing galaxies because no two are ever alike. Like depending on your mood, you know, whatever. It's just gonna it's gonna come out on its own. It's a little intuitive, and you could follow along and you could do every single step just like me, and your galaxy would still not turn out like mine. And that is one of my favorite things. It's kind of like people. Like no two people are alike. We could have a lot of similarities. You know, we could just get along fabulously, but we're never gonna be exactly the same. And that's what I think is so wonderful about um, this art community, all of, all of you guys, my friends. It's just that we get along so well. We're all different, but we're a part of this wonderful collective. So thank you guys so very much for being on this journey with me um, today and every day. Your support and encouragement have just blown my mind. Like, it's insane. And I love it. I love you guys. So thank you so very much. If you're tuning in for the very first time, hey, hi, welcome. <laughs> I hope you dig the crazy. And if you're having a good time, then subscribe. That way you'll never miss a video. All right, guys. So I'm just taking some white chalk here um, or pastel, whichever. And uh, I'm just adding in a little bit of the, kind of the whiteness that is in this little crazy galaxy right here. Um, and then I'm just gonna get crazy with a couple more colors. Once you got it where you want it, here is the fixative I'm going to use. And I've got it sprayed and dried, and now we're gonna add our stars. So I'm gonna just take an old toothbrush and some Wiggins white ink. You could also use uh, white acrylic ink and just water it down. Um, I mean, sorry, white acrylic paint. You could use white acrylic ink if you have that too. And I'm just going to concentrate most of my little starbursts right where the white area is, but make sure I get it all over the page. The more stars, the merrier. That's what makes it look the best. So once you have the kind of stars you want, we are going to go ahead and move on to the next step, which is thread. I love thread recently. I've been using my sewing machine for everything, and I wish I could sew on this, but you know, that might kind of mess up the pages. Maybe we'll try it in future episodes, I don't know. So I'm taking some matte medium, and I'm just going to throw down some of the thread and get super crazy, and then my camera actually shut off here. Um, unfortunately, but I'm going to run the thread from one side of the page all the way to the other. Music 
And here it is all dry. We have our thread going from one side to the other, which I love. It's kind of like, you know, the whole six degrees of separation. We're all strung together, all part of the universe. I just love it. So I found some Tim Holtz sentiment stickers. And on one side, I'm putting everything begins and ends with you. And then all the way strung to the other side of the page, it says shine like the whole universe is yours, which I think is the perfect way to end these pages. Here we go, guys, the finished page. It's a little bit um, shiny from the fixative, but I'll bring it up close here and you can see all of our detail work and still some of the stencils and our layers from underneath, which is fabulous. Thank you guys for coming on this galactic journey with me. And until next time, happy creating.